The Treaty of Rapallo was an agreement signed on the 16th of April, 1922, between Germany and Russia, which saw both countries renounce all imperial territorial claims against the other. It began after the events of the First World War, when both Germany and Russia were financially and militarily hindered by the loss of the war. Due to the Treaty of Versailles, the two countries were essentially isolated from the help of, from the rest of Europe. Thus, the two governments agreed to normalize their diplomatic relations and secretly agreed that the two countries would establish an elaborate military connection. The Treaty of Apollo was a result of Russia not being allowed to join the League of Nations. The Allies refused to acknowledge the Bolshevik government in its entirety. Also, Germany, being the losers of World War I, weren't allowed to join the League of Nations as the Allies' governments did not trust them entirely yet. Germany owed a vast amount of reparation money due to the Treaty of Versailles. Annoyed by this and many other discrepancies, the two nations agreed to form an alliance against the League of Nations inside the Treaty of Apollo, thus creating a beneficial agreement that both nations immediately capitalized upon. The treaty itself was a spin-off of the Genoa Conference, which included Germany and the Soviet Union. It had broke down when France demanded that the Soviets assume the pre-war debt incurred by the Russian Empire and immediate reparations by Germany to the USSR. Hearing this, the German and Russian delegates met at Rapallo and discussed a new agreement. The treaty was negotiated by Georgi Chichiron, former minister of the Russian Socialist Federative Soviet Republic, his German counterpart Walter Ravenu. It was assigned at the Hotel Imperiali, Italian town of Santa Margarita Liguri. While the treaty did not mention any secret military cooperation, the two militaries began working together almost immediately afterwards. Ratifications for the treaty were completed in Berlin on the 31st of January, 1923, and the treaty itself would later be given an extension signed in Berlin on the 5th of November, 1923. This extended the treaty to cover Germany's relations with the Soviet republics in Ukraine, Belarus, Armenia, Georgia, Azerbaijan, and the Far Eastern Republic. The agreement would later be affirmed as the Treaty of Berlin in 1926. This agreement was made due to the desire to stabilize the economy for both nations after they both were greatly hindered due to the expenses of the First World War. This agreement also allowed the German military to remilitarize in exchange for Germany's acknowledgement of the Bolshevik government as a legitimate government of Russia. Shortly after the signing of the treaty, Russia allowed for the German army to train on Soviet territory, but in return, Germany would have to properly train the Red Army. This cooperation allowed for experimental guns, bombs, and tanks designed by Germany to be tested and developed in the USSR. The terms of this treaty had the potential to reverse many, if not all, of the terms of the Treaty of Versailles. Because of this, any publication of the treaty would result in Great Britain and France becoming hostile and possibly even penalizing Germany for their violation of the Treaty of Versailles. Therefore, the two countries declared that they would keep any terms of the treaty classified.